Thanks for joining us on News Center. I'm Justin Betty. No protests tonight. The State College Borough Council meeting, but much of the focus remained on that deadly police officer involved shooting nearly one month ago. Continuing coverage now of a bizarre animal abuse case out of the Eastern Center County. The man accused of illegally living in an Ahrensburg farm with almost 200 animals was back in court Thursday. Breaking news tonight on News Center. Police confirm a third victim has died, the result of a shooting spree late last night in State College. Breaking news, a jury has reached a decision in the case of a Sykesville man accused of arson. You and I and the rest of the American public can now read the long awaited and somewhat redacted Mueller report. You have to keep your family safe. Florida's Rick Scott issuing yet another warning for residents to evacuate his state as Hurricane Irma barrels towards the Florida coast. Good evening. For WATM News Center, I'm Justin Betty. And welcome to WATM News Center live from Central PA 4th Fest. I'm Justin Betty. Today is really all about the volunteers, hundreds of them involved. In fact, the biggest volunteer organized fireworks show in the country. We check them out in this week's city service report. Our Crispin Havener joins us now. Can you explain how close this all happened to students? Thanks, Jack. And part of that concern is that it's finally starting to feel a lot like winter outside. News 8 meteorologist Dr. John Skull is here to talk about that cold weather moving through the Susquehanna Valley. So that full forecast, Justin, is coming up. Thanks, John. In Lebanon, an abandoned home went up in flames for the third time in just the past few months and has now been basically torn down. That is News 8's first 11 at 11 coming up. The biggest cyber threat in 2016 could be in the palm of your hand. Straight ahead on News Center, a former State College parking attendant is accused of stealing from parking meters. And they say he stole how much in coins? Okay, so get ready for that. Even teens possible. Even teens. Wow. Yeah. That does it for News 8 at 11. Thank you for watching. Tonight's show starring Jimmy Fallon. His next guests include Will Smith. Friday Night Zone, brought to you by Five Star Mitsubishi, Altoona. Welcome to the zone. Believe it or not, it's the final week of the high school football regular season. And tonight, Belfont finally got to play a true home football game at their newly renovated Rogers Stadium. And they welcomed in their biggest rival, Bald Eagle Area. It's our game of the week. Play of the day comes from the Easter Bunny. <laughs> it's actually Penn State football coach James Franklin. He and his family host an event for some local children around Easter. Franklin thought it'd be nice to have the Easter Bunny make an appearance mm -hmm. and apparently spear a pinata of an Easter Bunny. We're right in downtown Midland, right along the Titabawassee River, which should be way behind the farmer's market back there, which you can see is flooded. Roads are closed throughout downtown Midland. You can see that behind me. Dr. Rao said she wanted to see what the kids see when they're at the bus stop. But in many cases, you can't see much until you get to the corner with massive snow piles blocking your line of sight. And in other cases, the snow actually blocks the sidewalk, forcing kids to to walk on the street. High grass is a bit of an issue in Flint. We'll meet some people who are taking matter into their own hands coming up. We're here on Gilbert Road, which is blocked and closed for good reason right now. We've got some power lines and telephone lines down, which I've been told have been clipped. They're not live. There's also trees down. Folks here tell me they are without power. Well, the obstacles vary. The one thing that is a part of every Spartan race is the spear throw. Ah, if you miss, you gotta do 30 burpees. <laughs> this could take a while. Sometimes you, you feel safe for a while, you kind of let your guard down. The wires have just been chopped out. And then it happens to you one house. Missing all kinds of aluminum. And another one. Broken cast iron from the vent pipe. And another one. They've taken some copper plumbing and the water couldn't be shut off. This house has shown up on YouTube several times. And this is what it looks like after somebody's broken into the house. He is an intimidating presence between the pipes. He is a three-time league champion. He is 74 years old. I'm Richard Shank, name Shank. As News H Justin Betty explains, it's all about an app for your iPhone. Starting Route 2, Ski Round Top. Apple's map app for the iPhone says the best way to ski round top is through Beaver Creek Road. Turn right onto Beaver Creek Road North. The problem is, you can't get there that way. They drive by, and then they come flying right back out. Judy Salzberg lives at the dead end of Beaver Creek Road and has been turning around confused travelers for over a year. I've had three in less than 24 hours. Two of them went clear back in the woods. Their big argument is, but my app says this is the way to Roundtop. 
She says visitors aren't always polite about it. And then she said she was going to punch me in my blankety blank mouth. And when they were cussing, there's my 11 year old grandson standing beside me. She's tried calling Apple, tried putting up signs, then more signs, but nothing seems to help. The really bad kids went around another gate that we use for four wheelers and horses, went over a downed pine tree, got stuck back there in his cute little skiing outfit. Now, we're using Apple's map app to get to Round Top, and it still says we have 0.7 miles before the next turn on Telemark Road. But if you look to see where Telemark Road is, that's nowhere you'd want to go, yet people have. That's the road. They go back that road. They go back that road. That's the frustrating part for us. It's like, okay, so you get to here, make the UB and go back out. The Yebbit. The Yebbits get it. In your county, Justin Betty. Oh my gosh. News 8.